What's going on YouTube? It's Chris from Out West with Chris. I'm back to do another unboxing of BattleBox. This is Mission 27 Pro Plus. I don't know what's inside of here. I did a pretty good job um, not watching uh, the unboxing video put out by BattleBox and staying off the forums. So I have an idea of what could be in here. I do know the knife of the month and I'm really stoked about that. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's just dig into it. This is a former knife of the month from BattleBox. This is the SOG Seal Strike. And um, yeah, this is a pretty bad knife right here. Um, you have a chance to win one. So um, stay tuned on the channel. I'm gonna give this one away at some point. So just stay tuned for that. Um, you know, I'll talk about it later. Not in this video, but in another video. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get after it. I'm really excited to see what's in here and to see how BattleBox kind of responds after last month. They got a ton of criticism last month. Yeah, let's see what they came up with for Mission 27. So the theme for this month is outdoor weather protection. The sit rep, it says hell or high water, and it goes over all of these different things uh, that are in here. So pretty cool, interesting stuff in here. All right, so let's just start with the basic box and let's dive right in. Um, I can see right off the bat, uh, the first item in the basic box, and the basic costs $24.99. It looks like there's six items in here. Uh, well, five, if you count the Ready Man subscription renewal, um, that is, you know, six. So I, I don't really count that. So there's five. Um, the first item is this. And you know, they mentioned there's gonna be a lot of wearables, and already I'm seeing a ton of wearables. So first item is a Frog Togs Packable Adult Poncho. And that's cool. I, I carry Frog Togs, uh, something similar to this on my kayak when I go fishing. Um, I have a couple different sets of Frog Togs for heavy rain and cold weather. And then I have a set for light, you know, light rain, uh, kind of warmish weather. And I always typically carry um, some sort of Frog Tog on my on my kayak when I'm out kayak fishing. So uh, this will be actually nice to have um, in my truck in a truck kit, just keep it under the seat of a truck in case it's raining out, you gotta change a flat or whatever might happen. So it's always good to have a poncho, frog talk poncho, uh, $11.28 value. Um, that seems about right. Next up, Duke Cannon Tactical Lip Balm. Okay, so this is a, a big thing of lip balm from Duke Cannon. I'm familiar with this company. Um, they make soaps and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting to get this uh, after last month's box, uh, but that's cool. Lip balm is good. This is a blood orange mint. It's an SPF 30. This is another thing that uh, I might actually throw into my kayak in, in a little kit, like a first aid kit for my kayak. Um, stuff like this is nice. If your lips get chapped, you're out for eight hours, the wind's blowing in your face and it's, you know, 90 to 100 degrees, you're in the sun, um, you know, your lips can get dehydrated um, as quickly as you can. So you can get the cracked lips and stuff. So um, Duke Cannon Lip Balm, $9 value. Pretty cool. So here's another item. This is a, a Shemog. I can never say that right. Shamag, Shamag, Shamagi, I don't know. Anyways, um, you guys are probably pretty familiar with these. I have a bunch of them and I actually take them out with me kayaking too. Um, a lot of people wear, you know, the, the neck gaiters and those really thin ones. Um, I'll take these out in the winter time. Oh, this feels good. This is a nice one. Um, but I'll take these out with me in the winter time. They'll help keep me warm and stuff like that and keep the sun off me. Um, but that's a you know pretty standard size shemog. And you could do a lot of stuff with the, a shemog. You know, you can wear them um, as a head cover of some sort. You can also use them to carry stuff. So it's always good to have one of these. You can use it when you're like collecting things, bundle it up um, and then carry it in the shemog. 
And you can also use them to kind of, not really filter water, but if you have really kind of muddy water um, before you boil it or purify it in some way, just to get the sediment out of it, you can actually strain it through one of these. So lots of different things you can do with Shemog. I mean, you can make, you know, a sling if you hurt yourself. Um, you can wrap a wound if it's not, you know, super dirty. Um, lots of different stuff. I carry these quite often on my various adventures. There's a couple different ways to, to, to wear these and there's actually, a guy has a really good video. If, uh, if you just search Shemog, he's got like nine different ways to, to wear them and how you fold them and stuff like that. Like over to the side. Is that right? Oh, so there you go. This is like ninja style. You know, little eye slit, faces covered, um, out of the elements, that type of thing. Okay, so the Shemog is a $7.95 value, and that's actually a pretty dang good price. Especially because this one seems, you know, this one seems pretty good. So next up is... Something I've never heard of. This is Joshua Tree Winter Stick. Wind protection for exposed faces. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's an SPF 15. And I guess you uh, moisturize it on your face on a cold, windy day. And if you've hiked much in cool, cold, windy conditions, like if you do snowshoeing or anything like that, your face can get kind of chapped too. So this in combination with this can help with that. So can wearing a uh, shamag. Shamag! All right, it's kind of hot where I live right now and uh, my face is getting warm, so I'm gonna take this thing off. Whew! Whew, all right. Let's put the hat back on. One thing about this is that it is made in Michigan, handcrafted in Michigan. So made in America, pretty cool. Um, up next is the this item, it's called Otter Wax. It's made in Portland, Oregon, so another made in America. Um, it's fabric care, so heavy duty fabric wax. So it's uh, a heavy duty fabric wax that's made from beeswax and other plant-based waxes and oils and it kind of gives you a little bit of an instruction. Something like this will help um, waterproof some of your clothes. So this is gonna work on um, shoes and boots, kind of around some of the seams. Um, it'll also work on canvas bags, so the bag uh, that you got in the bushcraft kit, um, this would work on that. Maybe, you know, if you have a tent, uh, you could also, you know, touch up the waterproofing on your tent, especially around the seams with this. That is a $12.95 value. So that with the ready man is what you got for um, your basic box. So you get your shamog, your frog togs, your face stick, winter stick, um, your chapstick, and your waterproofing material. So all stuff that are gonna help you out in the elements. Um, and I'd argue to say, you know, some of the stuff can help you in the winter and also um, in the summer months. So for those of you guys who are down in the desert in Arizona, still need chapstick, um, you know, this stuff can still actually help out in the desert. And, you know, in the desert you get thunderstorms kind of in the blink of an eye. So having uh, this to help waterproof your, your rock and uh, something like that, you know, good for all sorts of different situations, as is a shamog. I mean, it's people in stand countries that, you know, pretty much invented this or start, got made this popular. Up next is the advanced box. And the advanced box costs $49.99 and it is a $111 value this, this month. Uh, let's check it out, let's see. Uh, the first thing is Mission Enduracool Bucket Hat. All right, little bucket hat, little boonie. 
I've been wanting one of these in a battle box for quite some time and it looks like we got it. Oh, this is going to be cool. Um, it is a real tree camo pattern. Pretty neat. This will be great for fishing trips. Keep that sun off my face. Fits me really good. I hope it fits everybody well. Um, if you've got a huge noggin, it might be a little bit tight. Uh, but nice little boonie hat. Um, I'm digging this. This is cool. I like this. I like it a lot. So if it's really hot, like you're out in the desert, you could always take a little bit of uh, water poured over here. It's going to keep you cool. It's going to keep the sun off of you, which is important for me. I'm always out in the elements and I get worried about my ears and my nose uh, with like skin cancer and stuff like that. So I've been starting to wear more wide brimmed hats and um, I'm glad I have this in my arsenal of headgear, headwear. Um, so pretty cool. Value on this is $29.99. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, next up, an item that looks pretty dang cool. This is from Yak Tracks. And this is called The Walk. Um, winter traction for all you do. Ultra lightweight ice traction, easy on, easy off, spikeless. So it's like chains for your shoes, like tire chains for your shoes, you know. Um, you get two, one for each foot. That's always handy. Um, these are pretty neat looking. And basically, these just slip right over your shoe. Um, and you walk on these little coils. So that's going to give you some traction. These are pretty neat. Um, it's kind of a bummer that they came in spring um, and not earlier. You know what I'm saying? If it had been, I, I don't know, I, there's still snow up in the mountains where I hang out. So, um, you know, maybe this will come in handy uh, here in a couple weekends if I decide to go up uh, in the mountains. So, pretty cool. Um, something like this is nice. I've never had anything like this before. So, like I've always said, one thing I like about BattleBox is you get some, some cool stuff that you've never been exposed to. And already, for me... I'm, there's three things I've never been exposed to and a few brands that I haven't been exposed to. So pretty stoked about that. Um, these are a $20 value. That seems pretty fair to me. They look like they're pretty well constructed and that, uh, you know, they're going to give you some traction on the ice and they'll do what they need to do. So that is your advance box. The pro box, first up, trekking socks. And I am a huge fan of socks. I have, I've actually been saying for probably a year now that BattleBox needs to put in some good socks in a box. So maybe this is my doing, I don't know. But these are called Deck Shell Element Repellent. So they have a couple of different things that they're made out of. It looks like they have like an inner sock made out of merino wool, which is awesome, acrylic and nylon. Then they have an inner lining um, that's some sort of membrane and then an outer sock that's m made of um, nylon, nylon and elastane. Um, interesting. Let's take a look at these. Are these Wow. Whoa, those look pretty heavy duty. You know, these almost feel like a, a neoprene wading sock that you might use if you have a wading boot for fishing, which I do. Um, these are a large so that's pretty cool. They're breathable, waterproof. Man, I am stoked to test these out. Something like this looks pretty awesome. I've never had a deck shell sock before. The value on this is $40. 40 bucks for a pair of socks. You might say, 40 bucks for a pair of socks? What the hell? Well, one thing I like about BattleBox is they put items in um, that I would never go buy on my own. I don't know if I would ever spend 40 bucks on my own for a pair of socks. But if you think, oh, I paid 40 bucks for a pair of socks, you didn't. I mean, between this and the knife, um, you know, that's, that's uh, $190 basically. So you didn't pay 40 bucks for these socks. Um, that's just math, right? These are awesome. I'm stoked that these are in the box. 
can't wait to try them out. And you know what? The next time I go out kayaking, I'll probably wear these with just some, some roughed up tennis shoes that I have just to see exactly how waterproof they are and see how they do with keeping me, you know, um, my feet warm and see if they're breathable, see if they're waterproof. So I will actually report back to you guys on this. And you know, $39.99, um, kind of steep to go buy it on your own, but if it's a good pair of socks that's gonna last a long time and keep your feet dry um, when you're out backpacking or hunting, um, snowshoeing, something like that, then they're invaluable. You know, if your feet get wet or you get all sweaty and they get wet, that's when blisters happen. And when blisters happen, you have a shitty day. All right, next up is this. This is from Uncharted Supply Company, the Hideaway Waterproof Jacket. This is a waterproof jacket that folded up into this little stuff sack. A couple weeks ago, the guys at BattleBox sent me an email saying, hey, what si uh, shirt size are you? And I didn't know what it was about, but this is what it's about, and I'll explain later. But let's take a look at this. It's, it's lightweight. Let's try this puppy on and see what we think. I ordered a little bit big, I think. No, that's actually, that's, that's good. Oh, that's nice and comfy. Oh, wow, this is, this is great. This is awesome. Oh man, this is cool. This is a $50 value. So here's the deal. Knowing that everybody is a different size, you know, there's some of us subscribers that are big, you know, big like me and even bigger. Some of us subscribers are tiny little folks, right? Um, it's just the way people are. We come in all different shapes and sizes. So in order to kind of deal with that, especially being that this is a $50 value item, you know, fitting in a one size fits all type coat like this would be kind of tough. It, it wouldn't have flown over very well, I don't think. So what you can do is attach to your sit rep card, there is a hideaway jacket redemption code, okay? So you go to the website for unchartedsupplyco.com slash battlebox, you enter your promo code, Within three to four weeks, you should have your coat. And I know that might be kind of a bummer to have to wait a little while for your coat, but it's really the, the best way to handle, you know, a situation like this, especially since it's a, a pretty high dollar value. I mean, a uh, $50 item. So, you know, you don't, if you're battle box, you kind of want to try to do it right. And it sounds like this was how they, you know, needed to, to do it the right way. Okay, so what makes this kind of cool is that there are these pockets all over, right? And you might just think, okay, that's just a raincoat, but there are pockets all over that you can actually stuff with, with different things, okay? Maybe it's pine straw, maybe it's uh, moss or leaves or whatever. Um, if you're in an emergency situation, just stuff that's around you in the outdoors, and it's gonna puff it up and actually add some insulation. That's pretty neat. You know, you could put, you could put toilet paper in there, other like uh, paper towels, that type of stuff, and it'll just kind of help insulate you in an emergency situation. Um, shoot, that's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I don't know, man, that's, that's something new. I've never seen anything like this. So um, I'm definitely gonna have to get on their website and check it out. And I know I sound like a broken record, but another thing I love about BattleBox is you get introduced to new companies. So, um, you know, pretty excited about this. And I'm really excited about the next item. But this wraps up your Pro Box. All right, last but not least, the Pro Plus. You paid $150 for this box. And it just so happens the knife of the month is a hundred and forty seven dollar value msrp well, let's take a look at it whoa that thing looks like a beast now i know what this knife was but having it in my hand now man this thing is impressive wow sharp as heck the handle the scale is a micarta scale, possibly a canvas micarta scale, I'm gonna guess. Um, feels really good. 
this is this is a nice knife. This is the Saw Kiku, by the way. Um, forgot to mention that they come in two different sizes: a small and obviously a large. I mean, this thing is ginormous. Um, the handle looks to be about five inches. The blade probably four and three quarters. Um, it's pretty big, pretty hefty. It's about as heavy as the Bastion Braza, just by feel weight. The Braza might be a little bit heavier, actually. Uh, but this is the biggest folder I've probably ever held. It's got a really cool blade uh, shape on it. Um, it's got a grind on the top end, but they don't ship those sharpened because uh, in a lot of states it's illegal to sharpen this uh, opposite side of the sharp edge. Um, you know, it makes it a two-sided blade, which a lot of states it's illegal to have a two-sided blade. Um, it has a liner lock, um, thumb studs on both sides. Um, it's not an automatic opening knife. It is, uh, you know, a thumb stud knife, but that's still cool. Um, some folks got a black blade, um, a coat, black coated blade. 250 subscribers randomly got that. So that's pretty cool. I got the, um, you know, just normal polished blade. I wonder what the blade is made out of. I wonder if it says, it. probably stainless. So it's a 4.6 inch blade. So just over four and a half. Um, Aus 8 steel. Okay, so it's Aus 8. It is a Japanese style knife from knife maker Kiku Matsuda. Um, this is awesome. This is really cool. And I've been a little bit critical of SOG knives fairly recently. I don't know where I said it, but I kind of said that they're, they're kind of becoming the Gerber of kind of tactical knives. Um, that being said, I really do like this SOG Seal Strike. But some of their knives, um, kind of their low end knives that you can, you know, you can buy them off the shelf at, uh, you know, Bass Pro or, you know, stores like that. They, they've just kind of got a, a feel to them that I haven't really been too fond of. They're decent knives, don't get me wrong, but I think people are more paying for the brand in some situations. This knife does not fit that mold. This knife is freaking badass. This is a bad mofo right here, folks. Looks like it's well constructed. Um, I don't see any blade sway. Um, it feels really good. It's sharp, sharp, sharp. Um, the micarta scales are just really cool. Man, this is a nice knife. I like that blade design too. Really cool. I know I've been going on and on about this knife, but um, you know I saw it in the podcast that the BattleBox crew put together. Um, but I, I had no idea what it was really. <laughs> Uh, until now. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know about EDC in this knife in your pocket. You know, it fits. I can feel it. It's definitely there. It's, it's big. It's not a small knife by any means, but it's carryable if, unless you wear like skinny jeans or something like that. And if you guys are wearing skinny jeans and you subscribe to this box, you know, more power to you. You know, it takes all types, right, to make up a community. Um, there are a few other items in here. Um, lots of discount codes. So discount code from Joshua Tree, 20% off from um, the folks that made the Otter Wax and some instructions for use too. Oh, you know what? You could totally waterproof this boonie cap. That's probably why it's in here. I'm such a dumbass. Gosh, you could totally use that Otter Wax on this to waterproof it. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, and then it expires New Year's Eve of this year. So you've got months to, to wait to, to use it. 40% off regular price merchandise from Frog Togs. Frog Togs make some really good stuff like waiters and, and all sorts of stuff. You know, they're probably most well known for their, you know, kind of um, cost effective ponchos, um, that type of stuff which I've got some of those, but they make some great like fishing apparel and that type of thing too. So check out Frog Togs, a 40% off coupon. I, that's the, the biggest discount that I've ever seen 
from a company that's been in a battle box before or pretty much any other box. I don't think I've seen a 40% off before. And then from Duke Cannon, 20% off um, Duke Cannon. I'm probably gonna use this and buy some more of their soap. Uh, I actually like Duke Cannon soap. They make them in those big ass bricks. So pretty interesting um, box in my opinion. Lots and lots of wearable items. Um, some stuff that I'm not familiar with that I'm excited to have. Um, these cleats. Um, I'm kind of really super excited about these socks. I know I'm a geek, but I am. I'm really excited about these socks. Um, really excited about the Kiku, the knife of the month. Um, it's going to be fun messing with this and carrying it, getting to know this knife. One of the things, kind of one of the negatives for me on this box is just timing. Like this would have been a, a really cool box for last um, October, November, December, January, February. Now I can use a lot of this stuff in summertime applications too. I can use these socks summertime, um, the lip balm, the this, uh, the hat, definitely can use the shemog, All a lot of this stuff I can get use out of it right now. But it kind of seems like it would have been a good box for like fall, winter instead of spring, early summer. Um, I mean, it was 92 where I live uh, a couple days ago. So anyways, that's my only kind of negative comment. Um, but overall, pretty dang pleased with this. I can use every single item in this box. And I think you guys can too. Don't forget to get your, your coat. Use that coupon code, folks. Um, in my opinion, this box was a, a win. Um, the knife alone, $147, and you paid $150 for the Pro Plus. I mean, how are you going wrong? I forgot to mention up front in the video, I did not pay for this box, so I'll mention it now. I did not pay for this box. Um, if you think that's influenced me in any way, you're welcome to say so in the comments down below. So everybody, that wraps it up for me. Pretty cool box. If you like what you see, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more unboxing videos and outdoor adventures and fishing videos and just all sorts of stuff. Subscribe. If you have any questions or comments that you want to make to add to the conversation, feel free to do so in the comment section down below. Don't forget, I'm going to be doing some pretty awesome giveaways when I hit 3,556 subscribers. We're getting pretty close to that, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you sub and stay tuned for that video where I make some announcements about that. So, uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, everybody, and thanks for getting out west with Chris. Oh, <laughs>